there's tremendous mind share out there that we can bring into IBM from using our quantum experience. It is kind of like peering into the unknown. Our quantum experience is currently open to the entire world. Anybody can sign on, register, and start using it. We want to see the best ideas out there. We want to be able to find new algorithms, and we'd love to work together with different individuals, different organizations to uh, help explore that frontier. One of the real surprises to me has been the uh, amount of usage that we've seen in the, in, in the past six months. We're seeing researchers who are actually writing papers and uh, doing new algorithms and, uh, and testing new theories using it. Educational institutions, professors using it as part of their coursework. So we're really starting to see uh, this ecosystem building and we're really hoping to continue that as we get towards these larger systems uh, where we really want to find the areas of application. In terms of applications, I think a one type of really big challenge that many of us in the, who are working on this really want to be able to solve is to see uh, the simulation of, of chemistry, the simulation of nature. But what we care about is unlocking those secrets. If you're going to try to understand nature, which is naturally quantum mechanical, there's no reason to use bits, zeros and ones to do it, but to actually use other objects that follow those same natural laws, quantum bits, to try and simulate them and try and understand them. The implications for this are huge with regards to uh, designing new drugs and uh, designing new materials, understanding catalytic uh, interactions and, and different types of molecular interactions that are just too difficult and too complex to brute force calculate today. With quantum computers, we really have that potential to look for solutions and calculate things which we never thought about before.